Um, dish, this chart over here is a 20 minute chart. So you can see a big drop on dish. So dish was at basically about $36, $35.36. Um, and now she's at 31. So it's it's just it's almost it's roughly 20%, close to 20%. Um so I I mean I like this level. This is a quarterly pivot here. I just know that there's room for it for it to lose this level. And to go down to 28, which is three points, and also go to this next quarterly, I'd feel more comfortable starting it here. So it wouldn't be like a six point drop to that level. So, I mean, if you think about it, so if I bought 100 shares here and it went all the way down to here, that's, I mean, I'm losing $500 there. But obviously, the way we play it, we want to add, we would start, add, and then add. So we'd buy it down. Um, so I'm okay starting here. Um, but just really small size here, to be frank with it, just to stay safe. And then add a little bit heavier here, and then this is where I would get really heavy uh, on this one there. So, and I'll kind of give you a better idea of what I mean. Because when you go back, you can see that she really loves this, this resistance level right here. Really loves it. Been there before. Been there before, came back up. And so what that means is there's, there's a lot of buyers and sellers right here at this level. All right, I'm gonna post that to give you guys kind of an idea. So, and for the folks who are looking, this is this is understanding pivots and this is how we're, we're gonna, this is how we swing trade. So we find a stock that's been basically gutted from 20 to 30% in, in, a, in a couple days. And we basically find where our positions are based on the pivots. Pivots are industrial, uh, where industrial companies buy and sell or have orders to buy and sell uh, or have had orders to buy and sell. I can explain more of that later. I won't make 